Hey Fox, today we're going to learn how to install Maven on your Windows PC on Windows 10 or 11. So for that, first of all, you have to have Java installed on your machine because Maven requires JDK 8 or above to execute. So make sure you have Java installed here. For me, I have installed JDK 21, which is the latest LTS version. Okay, so after installing Java, uh, it is good idea to set java home on your environment variable so i'm once again going to the directory where i have installed java this is c program files java 21 so this is the java home and inside the bin folder the java executables are present so this is the path for java home which i need to set on my environment variable for that i'm going to going to search and typing environment variable and clicking on environment variables and here i have two user user variable and system variable system variable is for all users okay so let's do it for all users of this pc so i'm creating a new variable clicking on here and pasting the variable value which i've copied the path for bean folder of java okay here i'm typing all caps java underscore home okay so this is um, kind of classic approach so that other tools which require say java environment variable they can get the path for java like hadoop or apache maven so i'm setting java home and now it is done as you can see java home is set so since java home is already set up now let's start let's click on okay okay let's now start installing maven so that we can build our java application so for that i'm going to download page of this apache maven and here i have two options downloading binary zip or downloading the source code and building the binary so i'm not going to build the maven binary now i'm just going to download the binary zip version i can do i can download first one or second one i'm downloading the zip and i'm saving it on my download folder so once the download is complete let's go download folder and the download is complete it is very small around 8.77 megabyte in size let's extract i'm extracting with 7 zip you you can have winrar or any other tool okay so now the folder is extracted and inside this folder we have apache maven and here we have the bean folder and inside the bean folder we have the windows common file which is actually the uh, executable files here so i'm copying the folder which have the bean okay so here i have maven and inside that we have another folder so i'm renaming this folder which is containing the bean folder as mm, maven okay in this method folder containing the bean folder which is containing the executables so i'm cutting the maven folder now and placing it in a secure place where i do not do uh, delete operations or a place safe somewhere you will not do stuff so for me it is the root directory of my c drive i'm pasting it here maven and here inside the maven folder i have bean folder so same as java home now i can set maven home so that if any other tool requires maven for their build purpose they will use the classic maven home variable from the environment so the path for maven home is the folder which is containing the bin okay so i'm once again copying this path and going to my system environment variables we've already set java home let's create a new variable called maven home i'm pasting the value first name of the variable is name of the variable is maven underscore home okay so this is where the maven bean folder is present okay so clicking on okay so my java home is set up and maven home is already set up but to use from common prompt i have to add the path of this mvn to my environment path so for that let's go to environment variables once again and scroll down and look for a variable called path here as you can see this is the variable for path let's double click on it and after double clicking we can see that 
there are lots of variables already added to my environment variable clicking on new and placed pasting here the maven home maven underscore home which is the variable here i'm putting a percentage before and after the maven home so after maven home let's put a forward slash and type bin in smaller case because this is the this is the folder where the mvn script is present so my maven home setup is done now i have added the bin folder of maven to my environment variable for the system user let's click on ok ok and ok once again now everything is looking good let's let's go to my command prompt and try uh, and check if maven is already installed mvn hyphen hyphen version now as you can see apache maven is showing its version meaning it is already installed even though we tried to see the version of maven we can see that maven home is this and we can also see that the version for java here so how did maven know everything because we have set maven home variable and we have and we have also set java home variable which is used in which is used in the maven code okay so it is showing this java home is this so looking everything is fine now we can build our application with maven so now let's uh, dive into why java developers love this tool so if you dive into the early days of java you will see a tool called ant and that was the kind of that was a tool which showed the path to early java days but that had a lot of problem and maven solves all the problems with ant maven is actually a very modern and built automation tool for java development you cannot think of you cannot think of deploying a java application without maven or a build automation tool like gradle so there are two things maven or gradle one of these two must be used to build a java project it is that crucial okay so maven versus gradle that is a topic for a different day but let's understand uh, why we need a build tool so when we uh, create a new spring boot application we see that uh, we need to select what kind of project we want to use either it Gradle or Maven. Maven is basically XML based, Gradle is, uh, Gradle is Groovy based and now also in Kotlin. You can also build in Kotlin. Okay. So Maven actually handles all the dependency for this application. It have a XML file called pom.xml and for Gradle you will have a file called build.gradle and that file will keep track of all the dependency for your project okay so in node application you will see something like package.json and that file handles all the node, mod node modules right so maven is something like that maven have a central repository called maven central so when your application first start it downloaded all the dependency from maven central and usually it cached on your system locally on your local machine like for windows it is dot m2 folder under user and for linux it is similar kind of thing and uh, it is not only that it it uh, takes all the responsibility for handling dependency and then it also provide the standardized uh, build process like compiling your project running the test and packaging the application and finally deploying so in modern deployment procedures in a ci cd pipeline that is crucial because you want to run your test you want to uh, package your application and deploy into your server and everything is done with maven so it is that crucial if you want to uh, if you want to dive uh, dive deep into java ecosystem maven is something you should really dive into because maven is very simple but a maven is like oxygen to a java application so maven versus gradle uh, that is a topic for a different day personally i prefer maven because of its stability and popularity and since gradle is platform dependent like it is 
it is using a language so the version of language and uh, some vulnerability issue can occur occasionally but maven is out of that risk gradle may be a little bit faster than maven but maven is more stable and more popular so i hope you got the idea how to uh, download and install maven it is very straightforward just set up your java home and then uh, download maven binary extract it set maven home add the maven bean folder to your environment variable and one thing i want to share is if you do not want to do this thing manually intellij idea have integrated maven build tool in it right so here is a java application and if i do not uh, if i do not uh, download and configure maven on my environment i can still use maven functionality from intellij since this project is a maven project a spring boot project i have this pom.xml here at the left top corner i can see a menu called maven if i click here i can see that execute maven goal if i click here i'll see that run anything mvn clean install for installing all the new dependency for clearing all the existing build and then installing all the dependency and building the jar maven install maven clean package maven deploy maven run test etc so everything you, you can do with maven from your command prompt can be done with intellij from this maneuver without installing maven on your windows but uh, this is kind of convenience if you want to build manually or you want to have accessibility from your terminal for maven uh, sometimes it is good to have for troubleshooting things for a complex project you can have that so that's it i hope you learned something out of this video if you so please hit the like button and if you enjoy watching my content please consider subscribing subscribing to my channel because 99 percent of my viewers are not subscribed as i have discovered in youtube studio so it will be very helpful for me if you subscribe to my channel. That's it for this tutorial. I wish you have a great day and until next time, happy coding.